To answer your question, yes, I believe our prophet is. Our next, our next speaker is Halle Taklamara. Taklamara, uh, Halle with double L's, so do not be, do not forget. He's an architect by professions. By his friends, he's a man of very wisdom, lots of wisdom. Also known by James Bond. <laughs> and uh, most of his friends wish uh, Rodal's dreams to come true to move out of the family house and to move in with him. <laughs> the title of the speech is <laughs> The Black Queen and the Shrewd King. He, uh, Mr. Timer, the amount of time that he asks is for seven minutes, green at five minutes, yellow at six minutes, and red at seven minutes. Please, let's welcome Hanley to the podium. you have not forgotten our childhood ways. But if some of you have, got, have forgotten, this is what we say when we tell stories to children here in Ethiopia. But I'm not here today to tell you Tarat, or I'm here today to tell you about storytelling traditions in our country. I'm here today to tell you about a legend, Mr. Toastmaster of the Afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, the legend begins with the rise of an empire in the Horn of Africa. This empire led a civilization that spanned as far as Egypt and Saudi Arabia. Legend says that this civilization started with the rule of a serpent. And the civilization I'm talking about is the Aksumite civilization. This serpent was said to be as long as four buses put together and had teeth longer than both my hands combined. The people of Aksum had to supply it with a goat every day and a virgin girl on holidays, or else it would terrorize their land. This serpent was feared throughout the kingdom, and it ruled for 400 years. One day, a man named Angabos came to Aksum with his daughter Saba. He made a deal with the king of Aksum to crown his daughter queen if he kills the serpent. Thinking it was impossible, the king agreed. Then immediately, Angabos took his sword and killed the serpent to crown his daughter queen. Soon after, Angabos fell very sick and he died. With him out of the picture, the king of Aksum, along with his family, denied Saba the throne and the right to rule. Saba then cried and wept heavy. Then a drop of her tear raised the giant snake back from the dead. The shrewd and swindle leaders of the land were filled with horror and terror once again. They begged Saba for mercy and asked her to kill the snake once and for all. They begged her to listen to their cries and they would not deny her what is rightfully hers. Then Saba took the sword of her father and plunged it straight into the snake's heart. Then this enormous and giant snake dropped like a rope and died. Although she was victorious in killing the snake, a drop of its blood transformed